Are we allowed to talk now? You are. You, you're live. Are we, are, are, is this Hello, on? Camera. Hello? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> that's not test, on. Are you going to edit, edit this or is yes. this it? Yeah, yeah, I'll edit it. You will. Yeah, that's yeah. What, you're he, sure. what he says right now. And he yeah, it's, it's right. going up there. Yeah, yeah. Hello, I, can make sure, I can make sure he edits it because he said we're not allowed to curse. So if I curse right now, then he'll have to edit it. Yeah, well, I think we've proven that point already that you can curse on YouTube. You can, yeah. Oh, damn. So, <laughs> fuck them all. Let's give it. All right. Okay. So uh, uh, the Roving Reporter is here with the uh, the lovely, wonderful chief facilitators who are going to help steer this ship through the uh, Let's Test conference. It's an absolute pleasure to have with us Pinky in the Brain. That's fantastic. Yeah. Hi, Pinky. Pinky's the intelligent one. <laughs> I saw a blog post on that. Yeah. yeah. And actually, your head is shaped kind of like brains, so, <laughs> so it's perfect. That's good. But I'll say narf a lot if it helps. Yes. The cat fits. Narf! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, shall I try my incoherent rum? Yeah, there we go. That's why he's That's, the apprentice. Yeah. I'm the apprentice. The incoherent yes. mumblings. And actually, we're quite lucky he's not drooling on himself right now. So I just thought I was yeah. finished. It's fine. That's a sponge in my mouth that oh. sucks it up. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Fantastic. So he's I guess been able to learn something at least this week. Yes. Well, let's see if he has some questions. To We've got a, got a, f a few questions that are they're particularly taxing. So, uh, oh, you're a veteran. At this uh, facilitating lark. Yes. Uh, how many lark. years? Enough? You're calling what I do yeah. a lark. That's great. <laughs> just, it's just okay. Yeah. You're, you're you're a newbie at this interviewing lark too. I guess. Yeah. Can you shut up now and let him speak? He already yeah. has spoken. Yeah. He's yes. just he, called he my. He called facilitating he a lark. He has but not finished yet. As the apprentice, you need to stand up for the profession of facilitation. Yes, my mom told me that. Yeah. <laughs> I should speak up. Speak up more. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're too quiet. Go ahead. I mean, Ask your question. Room. Yes. Go uh, on. Yes. So, uh, how many? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, this is uh, let's test. Will be my 49th conference or, or peer like grouping them together. My 40 time being the facilitator uh, at a conference or peer conference. Okay. And how many have you done? Well, being the apprentice that I am, uh, the count is currently including including tonight. this one. Well, no, no, down just until it. now. Wait, can it I? That's not. It's. Uh, one, including this. No, that one hasn't started yet, so it's uh, zero. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So, uh, challenges, they're going to be different, obviously, for you. Trying to train him oh, is a huge challenge. So, the, the old timer and the, the, the young nephew. Yes, yeah. well, well, being the ignorant person I am, um, I don't see any challenges coming at all. <laughs> and being the old timer, the, my biggest challenge is getting my walker up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, have you ever got any concerns with today's uh, training of the uh, newbie facilitators? Actually, uh, present company excluded, obviously. None whatsoever. You, you, you missed the whole training. You managed to swear the whole <laughs> you, lot. You at the beginning. You said a few incoherent words at the beginning, <laughs> and then you left. But that's okay. Don't worry. The master. The yeah. master looked after it. I said none the, whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. Next question. No, I want to answer that question. We I actually want to compliment. We already shut did. up. I want. <laughs> yes, master. In the training, uh, we we train the the let's test facilitators today. Uh, you among them. Yep. Yep. And uh, we had a live peer workshop, and we had five of the let's test facilitators got to do actual hands-on live facilitation of a peer workshop with roughly eighteen twenty people in the room, and the the learning curve that, that was seen from the first person who went, who was you. Yeah. I think you're bullshitting right now. Learning, I'm not! No, the learning the... curve. You were leveraging the learning curve. So, <laughs> so uh, the, the learning... <laughs> the, the learning curve of applying best practices yeah. of facilitation. It's synergizing. We had a synergy. Yeah. Yeah. You have to do this when you say synergy. It's important. Have we, did we do any leveraging today? Or leveraging? Uh, leveraging. We, we actually, we leverage your poor, poor performance to teach the others. Yes, uh, on, on I'm glad I could be an example. It, it, but honestly, the, the training went substantially better than I thought it was going to. Uh, I was expecting it to go well, but the, the whole way the peer conference uh, and Simon Morley and, uh, and John Paul uh, allowed us to uh, interrupt the peer conference for the sole purpose of pointing out facilitation uh, points. Yes. Uh, th that, that was great. And uh, we, we had a lot of interruptions to the flow of the peer conference at the expense of training facilitators, but 
honestly, the, the, the whole training that was there that Hillary very carefully avoided and, and didn't attend at all, uh, I thought that was fantastic. Not that he wasn't there, uh, yeah. but, but the, the, uh, the learning curve. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to okay. switch hats. Go ahead. How do you feel that training went? Uh, very, very helpful. It was great to be in an actual peer conference uh, situation. It didn't feel like a, well, it was completely contrived, but it, it felt like a nice, uh, comfortable situation. Everyone was there, was willing for you to succeed. Uh, I didn't feel that failure would be uh, seen in a negative light. It was, uh, it was good. I didn't mind failing because I was going to learn from it. And boy. See? Well, okay. these, these two sounded like scripted answers you have mentioned. They weren't. Just before. Honestly. Anyway. That's because we're natural, uh, naturally gifted speakers. That was... Uh, that I was just leading to that. That's okay. Good. That's it, right? You have no more questions okay. for us? Well, just to show you, that was my first attempt. Oh, yes. Trying to... This is a fantastic <laughs> example of how not to make notes as a facilitator on uh, the threads that are going on, because yeah. that's atrocious, to say the least. I was absolutely lost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, in in Duncan's defense, it, uh, the we got four threads deep, so a discussion led to another discussion, spawned off a discussion. So we were four deep before he got lost. But it, it uh, I, I guess it all depends on the coaching capabilities of the master facilitator. <laughs> That's a good point. So and honestly, because uh, don't we, try to find excuses. No, I'm uh, mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm just saying we actually hadn't covered. Uh, for the training for Let's Test, we tend not to go into sub-threads. We just yeah. follow a thread. Uh, in a peer conference, we follow, we go into sub-threads. Uh, and so, uh, the person who did the initial training, oh wait, that was you, uh, didn't actually right. cover off sub-threads of threads. So, Duncan was uh, a ship without a, without a captain, a, a, a so rudderless speak, yeah. Uh, yeah. metaphor. Well, I think now you're insulting Duncan. So, no, no, I was that's insulting my, you. My humble opinion. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, uh, honestly, Dun that's Duncan did quite well right up until the very end where he had had, uh, had lost it. But yeah. honestly, being four deep without any uh, experience of that, yeah. that's that's pretty good. The just in time feedback uh, the, came in just uh, just the, in time. The just in time. time. Yeah. Yeah. We could. Uh, so, have you uh, just one last question? What? I thought we had like no, eight. One last question. Oh, there were time limits. What do you uh, what do you expect to get out of uh, Let's Test this year? I don't know. Well, a things, job. stuff, people, stuff, stuff. Yeah. things, things. I'd like to, to be able to do the thing with the thing. Uh, the stuffy, the things. Stuffy. Stuff that, yeah, I'd like to yeah. get some stuff too, but the, yes. mostly the thing with the thing. I think the the thing with the stuff is um, thingy. What? With, with icing on top. Sure. That's, yeah, always preferred. Or, or honestly, if someone is looking for, you know, a, a consulting software tester, I am available. And where, where would they get hold of you, Paul? At uh, testingthoughts.com. Okay. You'll be cutting out the, the sales pitch, I guess. <laughs> and we'll just leave the, more, uh, the email address in. I'll, 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 I want to have some deep learnings and uh, personal contacts. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Um, See, oh, rich discussions on testing. That sounds like a real answer. Experiences that um, will be with me for, for a lifetime. That's so awesome. All this Speaking of scripted of, answers. <laughs> <laughs> it, it deeply humbles me. That was, I don't name that person right now whose answer that would be, but it's, it deeply humbles me. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks for time, guys. You're back to the hockey. Right. Right. <laughs> Bye, camera. Bye.